that's good for you. There is a very special charity based out of South Florida that combines the great outdoors with great hearts. The group is called Castaways Against Cancer, and this year marks the 10th year they get together and kayak hundreds of miles to raise money. But this year, times are tough. CBS 4's George Estevez has their story as we continue our commitment to bring you the stories that are good for you. Ready? They each have their own kayak, they each have their own story, but they come together for one cause. Every moment that we get is, is something to cherish. Bob is now a cancer survivor. I had a tumor right here underneath the breastbone that was about the size of a grapefruit. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma struck him in 2005 with one child and another on the way. It was easily the, the scariest uh, five minutes of my life when the doctor came in and told me, you know, the reason you're here is because you have cancer. But Bob survived, and now he and his friends are combining their passion with their compassion with Castaways Against Cancer. To make a change, to do something, to fight cancer. Steve O'Brien started the nonprofit after his mom died in 1999. There's a sense of camaraderie, and, uh, you know, I, I feel like we're, we're part of something bigger. You know, we're, we're, we're little by little making a change. The group kayaks from Virginia Key down to the Florida Keys. So far, in 10 years, they've raised $250,000 to help in the fight against cancer. That almost took Bob away from his family. You know, I do a trip like this because it helps remind me of, of what I was up against. So what is Bob looking forward to the most? Yes, I'll be looking forward to seeing my wife and my, my little children on that beach waiting for me. That's always such a joy. And they'll be there. Last year, the group was able to raise $47,000. This year, like we said, it's tough. Right now, they only have 19000 but there's still time. You can learn more and donate to Castaways Against Cancer by logging on to our website, cbs4.com. And if you have a story that's good for you, feel free to email me directly, jstevis at cbs.com. So they're out in the kayaks for seven days, but how many hours a day? That's a lot of rowing. <laughs> Ten to 12 hours a day. They wow. camp out some nights and they stay in hotels other nights. So they're going to do it, be in Key West, uh, 2 o'clock Friday. So that should be pretty fun. These Come back with a tremendous workout, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, George, thank you, George. Thank you.